this is Dan. Welcome back to another episode of Green Machine Outdoors. In today's episode, we're going to show you how to catch a lot of bait really fast. Now, if you want to have a successful day of catfishing out on the water, one of the most important, but sometimes often the most frustrating tasks is catching a whole bunch of fresh bait. So we want to show you how to do that really quick and oftentimes while you're fishing as well so you don't have to waste your time catching bait and you can get on some fish. So today we are going to highlight a sabiki rod. This one comes from a company called Eat My Tackle. This is a seven foot uh, two piece sabiki rod. I've got a little Cast King Royal Legend 2 bait casting reel on here and yes I do reel left handed. So I spooled this up with 20 pound mono, just because you never know what you're gonna get into when you're bait fishing, especially in the James River. And I'm gonna pull that up and show you the business end of this thing next. So I've got a little six hook sabiki rig on there. There's six of these little red hooks. I think they're size four. They've got some fish skin on there and that's tied up to a uh, swivel. And that's about it. The beauty of this sabiki rod is that it's really easy to have on you at all times. You can reel it up and if you can see down there in the water, everything sucks right up into the tube. And you're left with a nice clean package with your weight sticking out the end. Nothing that's gonna get caught up and snagged on everything. So we still have the white perch running in Richmond here. So I've got a little two ounce weight on the bottom of that. I'm just gonna drop it down and see if we can catch some perch. You can see on the graph they're all over the bottom there if you can get a good picture of it. And look at that, we got at least one on there right now. Sometimes you pull it up and you got a whole bunch on there. I can catch up to six at a time. That should make quick work of the bait right there. You just watch that in real time. Let's drop it back down, see if we can catch a whole cooler full. I'm only in about 11 or 12 foot of water, just dropping it down, feeling the bottom, just kind of jigging it around. There's already one on there again. This rod itself is pretty stiff. Not that it's heavy, but just the fact that the way it's built to suck the whole sabiki rig in there, you're not really gonna see the action like you will on a traditional spinning rod, but you can definitely feel the bites. Might be able to see the taps on it there. Okay, let's reel it up and see what's on there. There's two. And right back down, I've got a huge school of them under me right now. So that shouldn't take long to catch a couple. They're already on there been trying to catch bait for about two minutes and I've already got four or five little perch. Now this is only seasonal here in Richmond. They're running up from the Chesapeake Bay right now. We don't have this year round, unfortunately. Some of them do stay year round, but it's pretty rare to come across them after the migratory run. There's another. We'll try and keep it down there for a little while and load up on them. All right, that might be at least a big one or at least a couple of them. That's a big one and a medium size. All right, there's a big hit. And there we go, there's four of them right there. All right, we just dropped down on a huge school of perch. And I thought we'd have more than one at a time. Let's see. Let's get down there again. All right, that's gotta be at least a couple on there. That's more like it. One, two, three, there we go. Three good size ones. That's how we catch some catfish bait in a hurry. 
All right, and here's the beauty of the sabiki rod. When you're done, you just reel it all up, goes right into the tip of the rod, put it away. All right, we got a big hit up front, peel and drag going right into the brush pile. Let's see if we can get this thing back under control. It's taking us right into the brush pile. That's gonna be a good fish. Yeah. There we go. Messing up our drift. Probably gonna get all our rods tangled up, but we got a good one. There we go. Bending that rod right over for us there. We picked up that other back rod here. Nice. Holy cow, that's a nice big blue. That's a really nice big blue. We got a goober, baby. Got a goober. Look at the size of that one. All right. There's a nice big fish. All right, so he's gonna go 30.75 inches around and 43 and a half inches long. That's a big old fish. I'm gonna get him out of here. He wasted no time with that. And quality blue catfish like that are exactly why you wanna load up on fresh bait. What do you think of that fish? Tell us down in the comments below. We think it was a hog. Well, there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. If that big old goober doesn't convince you to try and catch some good old bait, I don't know what will. Keep in mind all those products and many other products that I use are linked down in the description below. So check those. Keep in mind that Keep in mind that all those products and many other products that you see us use on the channel are all linked down in the description below. So check those out. Get yourself that sabiki rod, a nice little reel to go with it. You'll be happy you did. We're gonna get on up out of here. It's a weekday night. We gotta get home and get to bed. We'll catch you on the next one. See ya.